to our channel. My name is Mitchell and my wife Bonnie and this is Fifi. And today we're going to show you how we put together our Toyota Sienna minivan for camping. Well we started off with three 2x4s laying them flat from the front here towards the back. We leveled them off, blocked them off in the front and we used some nice three quarter inch plywood here and we covered it with a little bit of plastic. And that took about one and a half sheets, so about two sheets there, and we made our band, our bed. And then on the back, we used the same plywood, and we put it on top of the bed, and then built it up and connected it to the sides. So we had to, before we cut our wood, we used some cardboard and made a template. That way we had, and when we cut it, it was perfect to set up there. We bought this on Amazon. This is You can put your personal items in there. We've got some clothing, personal items, and of course our fishing poles. We took out the center console and we put in a nice little cooler and Phoebe's bed. Next, we'd like to show you how we put our kitchen together. So the three quarter inch plywood goes all the way down into the back. And then we use the same three quarter inch plywood to face and also for the counter. For the water, we got one of the battery operated ones, which we could plug in here to charge up if we need to. And that is hooked in water jug. It goes right through the, the vent there. We have other supplies down in here, fishing reels. And on this area, what's really nice, we take out the seats like we did, got all this space down underneath we have more space in the back we haven't even utilized yet and we have the boards here on top so that we can use this space as well the same thing over on this side with a cooking stove pots and pans and then underneath we have the same area just like underneath here we got more pots and pans and more storage we try to keep the pots and pans and things that we don't use very often down underneath so when we want to cook something we can just pull everything off right up in here like our cook stove few pots and pans and other items here so for the top here we went to Lowe's and we've got the they are like a vinyl tile and they're a little bit better they cost about ten dollars each but they work really good they're not the type you have to cut with a blade you can use scissors so they're a little thinner but they stick very well so we put those on the back for the backsplash and then down to the counter and then we use the great sealant caulk all the way around and then on the sides, we got these at Lowe's also. They're really thin metal. We use template, again, from cardboard for all of these areas. And put them in there, place them in there, and cut them, and then screw them in. And then we go ahead and taped off and use the sealant here so you get, don't have any rough edges here. And then on the, the back side, we went ahead and put some gray yarn or rope material so it makes it look a little bit more aesthetic. And then when we set up our kitchen, which we'll show you how, we have a nice um, stove with a windshield and a heat protector. Here's all your spices. And for the sink, you can take and dump that out. And you, that's how you can pop your water down through here. So we got a seven gallon water jug down in here. And it's a lot easier just to drop it down and pull it out than try to take it through here. And then when you want to throw your water out, just throw it out. Gray water. I've already washed my face and my whole body with this once already. Works really good. Now on the, back, the window here, we went with the laminated glass. But since things sometimes can move around and get uneven, we have a little crack here. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out because I also don't like this because it's too much reflection. So we're going to try a piece of plexiglass. Still safe, but probably doesn't do as reflect as much from the rear view mirror looking out. Uh, and then also we won't have to worry about cracks. So we're going to try to replace that and see how that goes. Let's go. So now we have our kitchen set up. <clears throat> we have our heat shield. We got off of Amazon. We can link that below for you. Which is, I like it because since this is a vinyl material, you don't want that extra heat hitting back here. It doesn't seem to be a problem going down. It's just maybe on the sides. We got our little camp stove. And I like this smaller one because when you put in your gas, it'll stick out here. But a lot of stoves come bigger. And it's probably just because you, to take up that extra area. But we like that smaller one. And you can go ahead and put your 
can in there and then use that. And these work really great. Heat up your water, make your noodles, do your cooking with your pans. It works out really nice. Also, one thing that's nice is when you're out here cooking, you don't have to worry about the smells going in, but mosquitoes and bugs. You don't want those going into your bed and getting you in the middle of the night. So definitely sealing this off was really nice. And this is actually not connected to the side. When I connected it to the wood and tied everything together, it just kind of moved a little bit. But once I put my sealant in there, it all stuck pretty well there. So that you can make your decision on what van you guys are dealing with and how you want to connect that in there. But this is a permanent fixture. We're not going to be taking this out. We bought this on, in, on Amazon. We're going to link it below to you. And the reason we really like this one, I really did my research on this one. I wanted something that was going to be able to handle maybe a little bit of wind, uh, a little bit of breeze, uh, or and, uh, rain. This one works out really good. So as we tie this down, and this one's staked down, it gives you a little bit of side protection so you're not getting wind all around. And also if you get a little bit of rain. And if you want to, you can always connect another like tarp into the back here to the car and maybe to the tree out beside but I wouldn't connect it to the top here so much uh, but really good protection from the Sun and uh, you can even screen it in if you like uh, to fight against the mosquitoes Windy out here, but it's nice. Nice and smoky. <laughs> <laughs>